transferring the person from a chair a wheelchair to a bed. You knock before entering the person's room. You address the person by name. You use your identifiers. You explain the procedure before starting and during the procedure. You protect the person's rights during the procedure. You handle the person gently during the procedure. You collect the transfer belt if needed. You practice hand hygiene. You use identifiers. You provide for privacy. And then you move furniture for space. Raise the head of the bed for a sitting position. Lower the bed to a safe and comfortable level. Um, the feet must be flat on the floor when sitting on the side of the bed. Move the collet so it's on the strong side when the person is in bed. Position the chair or wheelchair strong, so the strong side is next to the bed. Lock brake in the wheelchair and bed wheels. Remove and fold the lap blanket. Remove the person's feet from the foot pl plate. Raise the foot plates. Remove or swing foot rigs out of the way. Put non-skid footwear on the person if needed. Apply the transfer belt if needed. Make sure the persons are flat on the floor. Stand in front of the person. Have the person hold on to the armrest. Have the person lean forward. Grasp the transfer belt on each side. If you're using it, grasp underneath the belt. Prevent the person from sliding or falling. Do one of the following. Brace your knees against the person's knees. Block his or her feet with your feet. Um, use a knee and foot of one leg to block the person's weak leg or foot. Place your other foot slightly behind you for balance. Shadow your legs around the person's weak leg. Explain the person, the count of three. Make sure they can help you hold, push up on the count of three. Support the person in standing. Around the shoulder blades, continue to prevent the person from sliding or falling. Help the person pivot um, to reach the edge of the mattress. Um, and then assist the person to transfer the person fully from the chair or wheelchair to the bed um you also want to um make sure you're um doing it so it's comfortable for them and safe as always make sure the person is in good alignment with the chair and make sure each um the method is directed by the nurse and the care plan, and you're comfortable doing so. Um, yeah. And in addition to that, um, make sure you know what procedure to use. A person's physical abilities amount to help a person needs. The height and weight, the number of stuff needed, areas of weakness. If the person's complaining of dizziness or discomfort or fatigue, be safe about it. Make sure the wheels are locked. Um, the person is cooperative. Um, and make sure you to communicate with the person to tell me to tell the person if they're feeling pain or discomfort because stress food can be painful for all the persons and after injury or surgery so ask about the co person's comfort 